Hello everybody. If you want to know what are lookup functions and how they are used in Excel, then this video lecture is for you. In this video, we will talk about two lookup functions, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, which can also be called vertical lookup and horizontal lookup. I will also be talking about two most common errors you will come across while using these functions. So keep watching this video till the end. Let's deep dive into these functions now. For today's session, we will be using the weather data of a city for a month. Let's first see how VLOOKUP works. The example we are taking for the VLOOKUP is weather of the city on a particular date. If you need to know weather of the city on that particular date, the date I have taken for example is 4th of May. So let's put the formula here, VLOOKUP. The moment you put the, put the bracket, we can see the syntax here. And the first thing it is asking is lookup value. So the lookup value is the value that we want to look for. So in this case, we want to look for the value that the date 4th of May. So we'll just select this particular cell as our lookup value. Then we'll put the comma. Second is table array. So table array is um, or the data range from which we need to look up this value. So in our case, data is in uh, column A to D. So for this example, let's can, uh, select all the columns from A to D. So this way we have selected all the columns with the, all the rows. And next would be, we'll just put a comma here, the next would be column index num. So column index num is the number of the column from which you want the result to be picked up. So in our case, as we need to know the weather, so weather is the third column. How is third? Because in the range that we have defined, if we see, uh, date would be the first column, then temperature is second, and weather would be the third column. So we need to know the weather, so that will mean that we will put number three here. So that means that we want the value from the third column. Then we put a comma again. So the next uh, uh, variable is true for, for approximate match and false for exact match. So in our case, we want the exact match for this date. So we'll just enter false here and then close the bracket, we'll press enter. So, so you see now the, um, this value sunny is appearing. So if you can go back to the data and you can check in the row number 5 for 4th of May, the weather is sunny. So now you can see that uh, for, by VLOOKUP, we have picked up the value of weather on the basis of a date. Now consider another example for VLOOKUP. Here we would be seeing humidity in that city for the 9th May 2020. So here we want to know the humidity. So the same formula will apply. Let's put the formula here equal to we look up and we start the bracket look up value in this case would be this particular cell that's f9 then press in comma now the table array again we will select the same uh, data range same table array from here and then we'll put the comma again it needs a column index so now in this case we need to know the humidity so the column that we would be using is 4. So if you can see, humidity is the fourth column in our data range. So we'll put 4 and then the last variable would be false as we need the exact match here. So press enter. Now in this case, if you see uh, for the, in the 10th row, we have a date 9th of May. But humidity is shown here as 40% whereas the data, the output that we are getting is 0.4. This is because this particular cell is not formatted in percentage format. So how can we do that? If you go at the top, you can easily see a button for percentage in the number group. So you can click on that and this value gets in, converted into a percentage. So so that we can see the humidity as 40%. Now we can move to the next function that is HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP is more or less 
the same as VLOOKUP. The only difference is that in VLOOKUP, we were <clears throat> on the basis of a value, we were uh, trying to find the value in another column. But for HLOOKUP, we would be finding a value on in another row. So how, how are we going to do that? So if you see in the example that we have taken is that we need to know the weather uh, for the ninth day of the month. Let's say this is our uh, um, criteria. So how do we know? come to know that? So in this cell, you can put the formula as HLOOKUP. Sorry. In this case here. Okay. HLOOKUP. Then the first thing is that we are looking for the lookup value. So what is the lookup value here? We need to know the weather. So in this case, weather is our lookup value. So we'll just click on this particular uh, header here. So this becomes our lookup value. And where we want to search, again, the same table range or the data range, we select here. And now, see, in the, uh, uh, the earlier formula in VLOOKUP, it was asking for the column number. Now it is asking for the row number. So when we say ninth day, so that would mean so uh, that would mean uh, the 10th uh, row in, in, in our data. So we just put 10 here. And again, the last uh, variable would be false because we need an exact match. And we click on OK. So we get value as cloudy. So we can go back into our data and see in the row number 10, which is for the date 9th of May, the weather is cloudy. So that's how VLOOKUP works. Let's see one more example for uh, VLOOKUP. Here we need to see humidity on the 13th day of the month. Same way, we'll just put the formula here. Let's look up. And in the lookup value, this time we select humidity. That is uh, J8, then comma, again the same table array. And now we need to know the row number. So as we want it for the 13th day, so the, call, uh, the row number would be 14 for us. 14 and then comma. And then the last value would be false as we need an exact match here. So we'll press enter. So again, the same thing for 13th, you can see the value that we need is 45%. But we, we are getting 0.45, so you know, know how to change it. Just go, click on the percentage icon. Sorry. Just. We'll select this first and then click on the percentage icon and it will get converted into 45%. In this, both these formulas, uh, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, you must have seen that, that the last uh, variable is for the range lookup uh, and the values are false and true in most of the cases false value would be used as we have used in our examples for the exact match but if there is an approximate match you you can use true value also here because as that is not very uh, you know uh, frequently used so i'm not covering up in this video but if you need me to uh, talk about that also you can drop a comment and then i'll uh, let you know how the true works here or if required I can uh, come up with a video or in, I'll include this in uh, one of my next videos. If you want to learn more of functions and formulas then you can click on the i button and watch the playlist on excel functions and formulas. Now we move to the two most common errors you will face while using these functions. The first one is hash na. It usually comes when the lookup value is not in the first column of the lookup range. Let's understand it by an example. So in this case, the, uh, the formula that we are looking for is that uh, we need to know the weather when the temperature is 39 degree. So how are we going to do that? Let's say in this case, we use the formula we look up and now the lookup value is 39 that we have selected and in the table array I have given the same table array that we were given giving in the earlier examples and then we will give the column index that the column is 
third in our range so this is three and then the last one is for false for the exact match and the value of uh, that variable is false which is used for an exact match okay just to clarify that now press enter so see now the you got an error here that is hash na error uh, you can see on your screens so why are we getting this error so if we click on that we'll go back to the formula that we have uh, you know entered here so now we are looking for value f16 that is 39 which means the temperature and temperature uh, in our data set is in the column b but the data range that we use in our formula is a to d which means that the value we are looking up is not the first column in our data range and that is the reason you are getting this na here and it usually happens that the if the data range is not correctly defined so in this case how can we correct this we just change this uh, range from a to d to b to d okay but once we change this if you see the column number from which we need to uh, you know pick our result set will also change so now in this case the weather would be in the second column of the range that we have defined not the third one so we need to change this also to two and then we'll be enter we get the correct weather value in our result set so this is the first error which we usually get then the second one is hash value error which usually comes when you use the incorrect data in the functions let's say the column number is in negative let's see how this is an example equal to then we look up start the bracket and this time we want this date to be looked up in our table array again the table array is defined as the a to d and in the column index let's say if we give a column value as minus 2 maybe by uh, by mistake and then falls in the last uh, variable press enter see now you're getting the error as hash value because the the value that we defined for column is not the correct value so how are we going to you know correct this is we'll go back and we'll see humidity is the fourth column we change this minus two to four and then click on enter so you'll get the value as 0.4 again this is because uh, it is not in the percentage format we click on this percentage icon in the number group and it gets converted into 40 percent which is the correct value that we need there are more local functions in excel that i'll be covering in the coming videos you can drop a comment if you want to see a video on any other function if you like this video then like comment and share also subscribe to the channel if not done already if you are interested in learning more about pivot tables, the link of those videos will be available on your screen now. Bye and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.